Epic. How scared are you right now? Oh, the baboon! Hey! Now we're here. I'm so glad that we moved to Njuka. Our camp is on the edge of the zebra migration and we see them every day. Oh, hello. Now, try the 400 quick. Right now, there's so much more rain on this side of the park and each day ends with the sunset, more dramatic than the last. The light just keeps getting better and better every day and I'm getting so many opportunities to take photographs. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I really like it. Oh, this is the one, B. This is the one. Are you getting this? Yeah, it's hectic. It's so hectic. The rain's like really coming down now. Like, oh my god. Oh, no, it's hectic. Lightning. So, it's so weird because over here it's like clear. And then on this side, it's this like apocalypse. Apocalypse. <laughs> sure, this is insane. Oh, but this rain, it just comes in and then it really like rains. The zebra's not so happy. And once again, we left the tent over on the top because it was 40 degrees today. Yeah. We still, yeah, not Everything's going to be wet. I'm pretty confident of that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll oh, see, we'll see. Maybe we're lucky. Sunrise. This is the sun sunrise in Makari Kari. After the rain. It looks so nice. It's just like the whole sky is red. That's really epic. It's all 537. We're a little bit late, so we're rushing to see if we can get somewhere nice mm. for sunrise. And there's a, a rainbow in a red cloud. It's quite weird. We just stopped at the gate make some coffee and then two of the Botswana Defense Force guys came in started chatting to us and they were just really like cool guys so cool like really so nice just and telling you know, us I'm always asking like a million questions and they were and just they were like so it. happy yeah. to like give you tips and stuff yeah. but they like don't go on the pan yeah. they were just telling us that they have these like sort of big trucks and they said the one got so stuck it took them a month to get it out a whole month yeah, and he says like it will like oops, it will get to like the level of like the door. Yeah, on it, the... it sinks down over a meter. Yeah, so he was like, and it, the scary part is it doesn't look that wet. So yeah. he said that just... this is actually a good time to go because you can see the water. Yeah. So if you come in April, May, maybe mm. it looks like it's dry, but it's and then not. it's like below the surface. Yeah. So there's this like thin crust. Yeah. But anyway, so the conclusion of that is we're going to take a little drive to Guetta. This is what we've been dreading the entire trip, is this mud, mud on the salt pan. There's the pan right there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm just going to try and go more on the edge. Oh, oh this thing is such a machine. It's just not a problem. Eh? <laughs> Not a problem at all. We're just wusses. This thing is like freaking Godzilla in downtown Tokyo. There's just nothing stopping it. Whatever we throw at it. What does that mean? Restaurant, arms and ammunition. <laughs> it means if you're going to battle, get your... Come here, it's like a one-stop shop. Look at my finger. It's a bloody mess. Adam is prone to injury because he's not careful enough. Remember my bee sting in Mana. <laughs> Who's gotten more injuries on this trip? Mm, you. 
you know why? Because you get itchy bites and you scratch them till they're like freaking mortal wounds. But I don't count that as like an injury. Once again, it's the second time we've come to Greater Tupala. Second time there's been no power. Second time there's been no fed cook. We're just using this opportunity because we have driven past here a few times to take a photo with this like famous what is this art fog art fog it's not a dinosaur it's an art fog i'm in the belly in the shade of the art fog belly <laughs> no i'm filming me also <laughs> i got you in the belly of the art fog stop filming me <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to turn back. This is so ridiculous. This is, it's such a we tried web. to find like a road from Planet Boabab to Cow oh, oh, something. I don't know what it's called. What it's called. It's basically like a small town on the edge of the pan. The GPS is like one road, but let me show you what it looks like in reality. There's a road here, there's a road there. There's two roads behind us. Yeah, it's just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> like now, and this is happening every like ten minutes. Ev no, every like um, yeah. fifty meters. Every there's like so many roads. It's maddening. We're giving up. We found the freaking pan. We're yeah. heading there. The road I wanted to take this morning. Yep. Apparently, it's fun. It's so nice. Actually, that's exactly what B was saying. She's like, I think it's gonna be nicer outside the park than inside the park more palm trees we're surrounded by palm trees this grass is so beautiful and green i think we're going to go over the horizon there they're going to be like a million zebras it's but a little bit wet in places that's yeah. it so let's see what happens eh? yeah better than i'm that. not going to drive on the pan yeah. it's about getting to the pan so we can see it yeah so let's see it let's see it the landscape is a lot more photogenic around Injuka. the rolling plains dotted with palm trees a perfect setting for the herds of zebra passing through. What do you think? We made it. I'm a bit worried because it says private concession mm. and I'm also a bit worried about driving on the pan. Like yeah. right now. Because I was if we, talking to the BDF guy. If we have to go, seconds. like we have to drive on the edge here. I don't know if I want to drive on the edge of the pan. The BDF guy said it's okay. Guys, this is the pan, the Ntwe Tue. That's it, Ntwe Tue. Ntwe Tue pan. Those are animals out there. Zabiros and wildebeest. This cool. is like a migration of zebras from the Boteti River. River. And then they come out, when it starts raining, they come out to the pan. Because the grass apparently is nicer. But look at this side, this is pretty nice. Hmm. Just palm trees everywhere. This is going to be a New Year's like I haven't had before, out in the middle of the wilderness. Started off the year with a nice early morning drive. He's taking a little nap here on the side. Saw a beautiful sunrise on the 1st of Jan. Heading back to camp now because I need to sleep. Chef Adam! Back in the kitchen. <laughs> Making our best life breakfast. Mm. Can start so the good. year off on a healthy-ish note. How do you feel about this year so far? I'm feeling good. Had a good start. Had a beautiful drive this morning. Snooze the alarm 10 times. <laughs> Snooze the alarm 10 times. Woke you up about 100 times in the car. I was sleeping. He was sleeping, then I'd be driving looking for a zebra and go over like a bump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. But it's been good so far. <sighs> Starting the new year right. Circuit one of Kayla done. Dude, I uh, nailed it. Yeah. Good. 
We're getting fatter. Yeah, I didn't stop at all. Yeah. I just kept going the whole time. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, babe. You're my man candy for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the sweaty you haven't shot in two days. Yeah, very sexy. That's what they want. Chasing things like this. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful though? Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's coming towards us. I'm worried. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Adam is convinced that it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I am 100% convinced. And if it's not, maybe I get a good photo out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, look at this. This light. Insanely nice. This light is so beautiful. It's like there's this moisture in the air, so it's very like soft, and then it allows the light and the color to come through. So it's just this like soft glow about it with the palm trees in the back. Mm, but then you got some nice. of the rain coming through too. Oh, the sun's just peeped underneath the clouds. Never, I don't never say. believe. I come here every day. Believes that if he wants an animal to be somewhere, <laughs> it's, if it's a beautiful spot, the animals should be there. Why wouldn't they go there? It's the perfect photograph. Why wouldn't they go? <laughs> Why wouldn't they go? That is insane. Epic. That was insane. It was, I think it's like the highlight of my, my khari khari. That, and that first time we came over the rides and we just saw like, oh my god, it's the migration. Yeah, that was nice. That the was amazing. It was magic. It was like all around us. It's still just, going on. It's still it's going still... on. It's so insanely beautiful. Just like that color, clouds everywhere, palm trees, like this haziness. It was so, so cool. So nice. It's so nice when things work out because... It's so nice when the animals listen. Listen, just listen. Zebras are actually very good. Mm -hmm. Do you know, this is a little photographer stuff for you. The zebras, they spend 90% of the day grazing with their faces in the, the ground, right? Mm. But if you, if you want, want them... them to look up for your photo, you just say, zebra, and then they, they look up. Or I go, zabiru! Zabiru! <laughs> and then they look up also. They mostly look up. Yeah, they look up and then they're like, cool, you got your shot? Yeah. I'm gonna go back to eating now. Tiny Raja. Make some light. What do Andy Rajas do that's so dangerous? doesn't seem he's just gonna he's like sleeping for the night eh? Still. they'd be known to like jump through the windows of people no <laughs> that's so special he's just getting out of the light it's the end of the first day of 2018 yeah it was pretty good i had such a nice day we woke up early yeah, woke went, up early, had an drive. amazing drive, came back, had some coffee, and then hit the road and mm. had like a great drive. We even saw a honey badger on the way back. Mm, and we had like such a nice sunset, like yeah. what a great way to start the year. Beautiful sunset. <laughs> Best year ever. Best year ever. Oh, the baboon! Hey! Hey! This is the worst campsite I've ever been to in my life. The baboon barricade. They open like all the ammo boxes. No, these baboons are like not afraid of people at 